I think the challenge of playing some unique characters like Alan and, and others of really remarkable intelligence is to humanize them. We we're going to break an unbreakable Nazi code and win the war. Oh. Well, that's also actually the, the great gift, I suppose, is, the, is to realize that they're bound by the human condition. They're, they're, they're blood and flesh like us. They live in the same worlds as us. The more interesting challenges are the ones that they actually face in their stories, either as outsiders or as people who are at odds with the status quo and the way that the world perceives what's normal and what's abnormal about them and how they have to contest that and also contest sometimes what that brings them, whether it's the moral conundrum of what their discovery brings them into being empowered with, what their knowledge evolves into. All you have to do is ask me a question. I suppose being remarkably stupid in comparison to any of these people's um, abilities is, is difficult sometimes. But that only really manifests when you're actually asked to do something that they can do. So in the sense of the fictional characters I played, like Sherlock, who's incredibly smart, playing the violin is an absolute nightmare because that takes, you know, thousands of hours of practice and I'm an actor who's sort of picking it up once every two years. But you know, that, that's when you feel com a complete fraud. I don't see it as a challenge, I see it as a, well I do, but a, the kind of challenge that I relish because I love learning. So if I'm given the opportunity for this sort of extended higher education that, you know, this job offers me often with these extraordinary people and their extraordinary talents and worlds and ability, then that's something I thrive off.